Good morning everyone. Welcome to Catalysis by Vedantu. My name is Pahul and today this is the question of the day. This by the way is a J main previous year question <laughs> was asked in this year only 2023 and it was asked in April somewhere in April. Okay. So let's read the question. It's from the basic concepts of chemistry or mole concept. And the question is very interesting, very easy to solve if you do it step by step. Let's try to do it now. An organic compound is burned in excess of air. CO2 is obtained, obviously, and hydrogen, uh, sorry, water is also obtained. The masses of both of them are given. Fine. If the mass percentage of carbon is 24%, find the mass percent of hydrogen in the original compound. Now, the basic idea over here is that you have an organic compound. Fine. Now, this organic compound will have a bunch of carbon, bunch of hydrogen, and it might have other things also, oxygen, nitrogen, chlorine, etc., etc. We don't need to worry about that. This organic compound was combined with a lot of oxygen, combustion, okay, with a lot of oxygen, and ultimately what you get out of this is CO2 plus H2O. And you might get other uh, substances depending on whether this has chlorine or stuff. But again, we don't need to worry about it. Now, what we need to understand over here very clearly is that all the carbon in CO2 is coming from the organic compound. All the carbon here comes from all the carbon here. Principle of atomic conservation, fine. All the hydrogen in this water is coming from here. All the hydrogen in water is equal to all the hydrogen in the initial compound. We will use this knowledge in order to calculate the answer. Okay. Now, let's do a little more mathematical analysis over here. Fine. My dear friends, do you realize that in CO2, the number of atoms of carbon is equal to the number of moles of CO2. Do you understand the number of moles of carbon over here is equal to the number of moles of CO2? One mole of carbon will give one mole of CO2. Very obvious idea over here. Now, what is the moles of CO2 equal to in this particular question? Number of moles, how do you calculate it? Given weight by molecular weight. What's the given weight over here? 0.22 grams divided by what's the molar weight of CO2? 44 grams per mole. Yeah. Fine. So, the result that I get from here, which will be useful to me, is that the number of moles of carbon in CO2, which will be equal to the number of moles of carbon in the original organic compound, right? So, that is equal to, let's just write it as 1 by 200. Yeah. Just simplified it into this particular thing. Now, my dear friends, similarly, let's do the same thing for hydrogen. Now, people, do you realize that for hydrogen, number of moles of hydrogen is basically equal to two times the number of moles of water. Obvious, right? Because two moles of hydrogen will give you one mole of water. So, in one water, there are two hydrogens. <laughs> Very obvious, right? So, if I have 100 waters, I have uh, 200 hydrogens. If I have 3000 waters, I have 6000 hydrogens. So, how many waters do I have over here? Just multiply that with 2 and you'll get the number of moles of hydrogen. So, number of moles of water is how much? Let's write the number of moles of water over here. Again, given weight by molar weight. So, this will be equal to 0 0.126 divided by 18. Fine. To simplify that, it's very simple. Yeah. I can cut this and this is 9 and 126 can easily be cut by 9. Yeah. So, this is a 14. Right. So, I can write this as number of moles of hydrogen is simply equal to Let's write it like this. Yeah, 14 by 1000 or you can write 1.4 by 100, whatever. Just trying to write it in a simplified manner. Now, people, 
what we have to do is let's calculate the masses. So this is the number of moles of carbon which were present in the original sample. This is the number of moles of hydrogen that were present in the original sample. So now let's try to convert these into mass. Moles into mass, how do we convert it? So I can write that the mass of carbon over here is equal to moles into molar mass of carbon. So that is 12 into 1 by 200. Yeah. Molar mass of carbon is 12 into the given moles that is 1 by 200. So I'll simply write it as 12 by 200. Sorry. Grams. Fine. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Similarly for hydrogen, <laughs> it's the same, right? Because uh, mass of one mole of hydrogen is one gram. So over here, basically one into 14 by 1000. So I'll just write it like this. Mass of hydrogen is 14 by 1000 grams. This is one particular segment of our question. Now on the other hand, it is given people that carbon is equal to 24% of the total sample. So basically, can I say that the mass of carbon is equal to 24% 24 by 100, I can write it like that, into the weight of the organic compound. Let's say W is the weight of the organic compound. Okay, mass of carbon, how much is it? Let's put that value over there. Yeah. Mass of carbon, the value we've calculated, and that is equal to 12 by 200. Let's just simplify the calculation. So from here, what we have is W is equal to 1 by 4 grams. <laughs> Fine. So from here, we've realized W is equal to 1 by 4. Now, my dear friends, finally... Huh? Finally, how do I calculate the percentage of hydrogen? Hmm? How do I calculate the mass percentage of hydrogen? Very simple. Aagya na yaan pe. To simplify this even further, hmm? to make it very simple for everyone who is watching this, can I write mass of hydrogen is equal to x percent x percent per hundred percent same thing into w same thing that we had written for carbon right <laughs> now you'll get x and that is the answer the x over here is the answer so just put the values mass of hydrogen is how much 14 by 1000 so just writing it over here 14 by 1000 is equal to x divided by 100 into 1 by 4 now it's just about doing some basic calculation. Yeah. So this goes over here. 14 into 4 is 56. 56 by 10. So X is equal to 5.6. Yeah. So percentage of hydrogen, mass percentage of hydrogen is 5.6. 5.6 is the correct answer. This was asked as an integer type question. So you had to round it off to the nearest a whole number that comes out to be six fine simple question <laughs> no rocket science J this was asked in J and the concepts involved over here are essentially law of conservation yeah principle of atomic conservation all right people that was today's question if you enjoyed it make sure hit that thumbs up button subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon because you don't want to miss these every single morning see you